If there's one thing that a lot of people don't think about in Dokkan Battle, it's the evolution of its music. Now back in the early days, this began with just general boss themes and different general themes like the summon screen and specific events. And this eventually turned into active skills, different transformations and fusions, and even standby skills. Before active skills and standby skills were introduced, the main themes that really defined Dokkan were boss themes. Two really big examples back in those days were Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Ultra Instinct Goku. Now the thing that made earlier Dokkan music really special was that it felt unique to the character or characters it was representing. When you look at the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you can hear the raw power behind the theme, the feeling of victory in it. And something that I'd like to point out is that there's a really big similarity between the type of super attack that the character does and the music that's associated with them. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's theme just sort of fits the 100 times Big Bang Kamehameha, not to mention his amazing counter as well. While some of these themes have been consistently used in different things like Dokkan events and whatnot, some have not had the same fate. Which is quite a shame because you don't get to hear them as often anymore and they're really special in my opinion. When moving along to more modern Dokkan soundtracks, there is a similarity between most of them. Some people may be quick to point out for example, the recently released LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku having a theme that's quite similar to LR Tech Super Saiyan Goku from the Worldwide Download Celebration. Which is true, there is definitely a noticeable similarity in the themes. Another one can be the consistent use of the Battle of Gods main theme, Hero, in a lot of Dokkan's more newer music. Now while that isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's good to have some kind of consistency, it does make some of the newer soundtracks feel very slightly repetitive in a sense. I suppose to each his own, you know, you might have a different opinion, you might think that it doesn't really sound the same at all, some people may notice the difference, some may not. I really do hope they introduce that back into future pieces of music because it did make Dokkan music feel quite special. But what's your opinion? Do you like newer or older Dokkan music and why? Leave a comment below, smash like and subscribe and see you around.